In this video, what I want to show you is uh, the eight bevels that are required to construct a hip roof and where they actually are in the roof. So here's our hip roof already constructed. And we zoom in and I can show the bevels. So all these rafters along here, they're known as our common rafters. And the first and most common bevel that we have is this one just here which is what we call the plumb bevel of the common rafter okay and obviously if you were to hold a spirit level up against the ridge here that angle there would be plumb this will be the roof pitch that'd be plumb so that's a plumb bevel of the common rafter and it's used as you can see where the common rafter meets the ridge and it's also used where we uh, cut our overhang for our uh, fascia board and it's also used on the back of the bird's mouth here uh, so it's used for quite um, quite regularly uh, the other the other one we have with our rafters is our level bevel common rafter which is this bevel here which obviously is level so there's the first two plumb bevel common rafter level bevel common rafter the other bevel that we have for our common rafters or sorry for our creepers you can see here this is a creeper rafter so it's cut short and runs into the hip you see this this angle here is the plumb bevel but you can see the actual angle of the uh, edge of the timber and this is known as the edge bevel of the creeper now if you're cutting these with a power saw or on a drop saw or something like that if you set the power saw to um, 45 degrees and cut along the plumb cut you'll actually get the right angle it's not um, exactly 45 degrees if you measure it but uh, it's just how it works on the drop saw so still got the plumb bevel here plumb bevel of the common rafter and then the edge bevel of the common rafter there so there um, or the edge bevel of the creeper whatever you want to call it so they're the uh, edge bevels or the bevels uh, associated with the rafters so then we move on to the hip so you can see on the hip here we can once again we have a plumb bevel which is not the same as the plumb bevel for the common rafter due to the extra length of the hip so plumb bevel of the hip and as you can see it's used up the top here it's also used down the other end at the back of the bird's mouth for the hip and if you zoom out a bit more, it's used again for the overhang for the hip. So we've got a plumb bevel for the hip, and we also have a level bevel for the hip, used at the top of our bird's mouth here. And then if we can zoom back up to the top of the hip, where the hip meets the common rafter and the crown end rafter, we have an edge bevel for the hip as well. Once again, 45. Degree, if we set 45 on a power saw and cut down the plumb cut, we'll get the right angle. Um, so that's our hip bevels. So that's six. There's two more, and the next two have to do with the purlin. So if we zoom over to the purlin, this is our purlin running here under our rafters, and it meets on a hip roof. It meets at the corner on the actual hip. And you can see this line down here where the two, they, the two join. That is what we call the face bevel of the purlin. I'll just get rid of the jack rafters or the creepers. So you can see we have the face bevel for the purlin, obviously on the face of the timber. And then on the edge of the timber, along here we have the edge bevel for the purlin. So that's all our eight bevels. We've got a plum bevel level bevel common rafter, edge bevel of the creeper, we've got the plum level and edge bevel for our hip, and then the face and edge bevel for our purlin.